Yo, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful day. For those who don't know me, my name is Christian and in this channel Co Abroad, I'll be highlighting my journey around the world, sharing and explaining to you my experiences through photography. And in this video, I'll be taking you along with me as I capture the Gion Festival in Kyoto and explaining what you can expect when visiting the Gion Festival. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. Oh. And let me know down in the comments what was your favourite image I've taken during this video. Without further ado, I do hope you enjoyed this video and take care. Boop. The Gion Matsuri is the most famous festival in Japan and takes place over the entire month of July. During this time, there are different events happening. However, the main event is the procession of the floats known as the Yamaboko Junko, which is on the 17th of July. The Gion Matsuri began in the year 869 as a way to appease the gods during the epidemic and every year since then, as per tradition, a local boy is chosen as a sacred messenger to the gods. Three days before Yamaboko Junko, there are these festivals called Yoyama, Yoyoyama and Yoyoyama that happens in the evening leading up to the procession during this time. The streets around Karasuma and Shijo station are closed off to traffic so the area can swell up with food stands, drink vendors and other festival hallmarks during the evening from 6 o'clock p.m until 11 o'clock p.m. While walking about the streets you'll see floats displayed as performers prepare for the main event tomorrow. These will include dancers, chanters and many other sights to see. While walking I could feel the sense of excitement during this festival as I capture some of the essence during Yoyama leading up to the main festival happening tomorrow. So right now we're on the second day where they are going to actually parade the shrines across the street. So right now it's around 7.30 and the parade starts at 9 o'clock. I'm going to be trying to get there a bit earlier to try and find a good spot where I can set up my camera before they start. So walking through the Imperial Palace Park, which is the same park I went through in my Kiyomizu Dera and photo shoot around Kyoto videos, I arrive at the intersection called Kyoto Shiakusho Maya Station and this is a spot where I'll station myself at where the floats will be making their way through the intersection. If you want to get a view during the opening of the parade on the 17th, the ceremony begins in the middle of Karamachi Dori Street which is between Kyoto Karamachi Station and Shiakusho Maya Station. Now since I got there two hours before the event started, I was able to position myself at the corner of the intersection to have a clear view of the street and wait for most pedestrians by my cross in my view when I take some images. Now after two hours of waiting, being cooked alive in probably the most hottest temperature this week, likely around 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, the first floats have started to arrive at the intersection. Arriving at the intersection, the float needs to turn the corner to continue on its route. However, since most of the parts of the float is made by wood and it's unable to turn, it needs to be turned manually. To do that, there's a team dedicated to setting equipment up underneath the float to be pulled in the direction it needs to go next. You can see everyone who's participating in the festival has their own duty and role to perform to ensure the floats are moving accordingly at a steady pace. From the team placing bamboo underneath the floats to help it turn, a team throwing water on the wheels on the floats to reduce friction on the wheels, or even sometimes throwing water on the participants to cool them off from the heat, 
and let's not forget the police force and others to secure the area for a safe environment for the festival to run smoothly. Everyone has their part to play. Weighing over 12 tons and standing at 25 meters tall, you can see how much manpower it takes to move such an amazing craftsmanship. Now, as it leaves, other floats and continue on its journey. Right now I've been sitting and standing for the past 4 hours and as it's 12 o'clock it's reached its peak temperature reaching over 35 degrees celsius but with this humidity honestly it feels like 40 in my mind and it's gotten to the point where I feel like I'm having the beginning stages of heat stroke. So before I head out we see the last few remaining floats that pass by before heading back home. That concludes a small introduction of the Gion Festival in Kyoto. I hope you enjoyed it. The Gion Festival is a must-see experience with its food stores and attractions leading to the parade. It's an amazing atmosphere and spectacle to visit if you're planning to visit in July. Just keep in mind that it's one of the hottest seasons during the year, so be sure to hydrate yourself properly. Thanks once again for staying to the very end of the video. As I show you my last images of this video, let me know in the comments what was your favourite image I've taken in this video and if you liked the video, let me know by hitting the like button. Without further ado, till next time, peace!